Happy Monday, everyone. Welcome to a new episode of Miami Mondays. Today, I am showcasing the historic Art Deco District. The city of Miami Beach was incorporated as a city on March 26, 1915, and it was a thriving coastal city. That is until September of 1926. At two in the morning on September 18, 1926, 150 mile per hour winds stormed through Miami and wreaked havoc. The Great Miami Hurricane of 1926 still remains to be the costliest ever Atlantic hurricane, costing $235 billion and a death toll of 1,000. The city was determined to put a positive spin on the property destruction and decided to rebuild the city in something unique, exotic, and different. And at that time, that happened to be Art Deco. There are three main characteristics to our tropical Art Deco, with one of them being the height. Due to stringent financial budgets, the buildings were kept at three floors or less so as to avoid putting in an elevator. The second characteristic to look for are the eyebrow ledges, which were put there to give shade to the inside of the building. Last but most definitely not least are the nautical features that we have designed into the building. These nautical features vary from having circular windows, holes cut out into the wall, painted circles to simulate portholes, splashing fountains painted on the buildings, rounded corners, and we even have a building that looks like a lighthouse. Modern buildings also like to keep up with the Art Deco design, such as the Ocean Spray Hotel, which is meant to look like a cruise ship, and the Walgreens on 14th and Collins that's meant to look like a cargo ship. A special hidden secret of our Art Deco architecture is that we were actually heavily influenced by Egyptian culture because at the time that we were building, King Tutankhamun's tomb was discovered. So that's an example that we see here in the Cavalier Hotel and we can also see some examples of that going down 5th Street. The preservation of these beautiful Art Deco buildings wouldn't be possible without the tenacity and incessantness of Barbara Bayer Capitman the founder of the Miami Design and Preservation League. The league was formed in the late 1970s, and thanks to the MDPL, we have over 800 Art Deco buildings, which actually gives us the Guinness World Record for the most of one type of architecture. Thank you all once again for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned a lot. Make sure to leave a comment below on something new that you learned. Now, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your week. The international symbol for Art Deco architecture is actually a frozen fountain and you can find them on our city's sewer caps.